Hello, my Divine Feminine Virgos. This is a reading for you. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising for Divine Feminine Virgos. Uh, most Twin Flames, I believe, have met. I've been doing my research on that. If you haven't met them in the physical, uh, you have met them in um, the metaphysical. So if you are aware that you're a Divine Feminine, if you're a, a Twin Flame, uh, I believe most of you know who you're divine masculine is. That's my understanding. I'd love to hear from you about that um, because we're talking about divine partnerships and one of my charges here is to help you navigate that journey. So um, in the comments, let me know, uh, have you met him? Is it, you know, what is going on? What stage are you in? I'd love to know. Okay. So Divine Feminine Virgos, we are going to do a little bit of a different read. We're going to do the three, three, and three. But then in the extended version, the three for you are going to be about lessons and things you need to heal. And um, I have to refer to my notes because this is new. Uh, and actions you can take. Okay. And then in the second line for your Divine Masculine, he is going to give you three messages for you. So the first three will be what's going on with him. And then in the extended... The next three are going to be messages for you. Then uh, in the extended, we'll see how the whole thing plays out, okay, in the relationship line. Um, if you haven't watched these before, I think you'll get the gist of it pretty quickly. Um, also in the extended, we will get guidance from the universe and we'll ask Archangel Michael to cheer, chime in, special guest star Archangel Michael, uh, to talk about um, guidance from him for you. Okay, so without further ado... This is kind of a big deck. It's a, it's the um, Mythic deck. I don't know if you've ever seen this uh, Mythic Tarot. It's really cool because I, I was an English Lit major for quite a while. <laughs> and um, the, uh, you know, all of the myths, Greek myths and, and all of that kind of stuff was part of it. The, the um, Joseph Campbell, the journey of the hero, the hero's journey, all those things like were part of a college class that I took, which was really fun. So anyway, okay. So without further ado, I will introduce you to the mythic deck in this reading. Underneath Ace of Cups. Woo woo. All right. So this is about love manifesting in the earth plane. It's about, uh, this is Ero, um, it's Eros and Psyche. This is uh, Venus in the waves and the Ace of Cups being offered, love being offered in, in our world, in our earth-based world. So three for you. You get three for you on what's going on with you. Uh, three for your partner, your divine masculine, what's happening with them. And then three for the connection. Where are you guys? Whoopsie. All right. So Virgos, Virgo Divine Feminines, um, there's a little bit of a struggle or a disconnect going on here. First card is the Devil card. Attachment. Um, some struggling here with that. Struggle with attachment. Um, sometimes if your Divine Masculine has not acknowledged the relationship or the connection it is a struggle to allow to release from that attachment to the end and I know personally that I have been asking Archangel Michael and my guides to deliver my divine masculine even though I believe I know his name and we know each other I am going to release myself from the attachment to um his humanity and call in the soul work with on a soul level to call him in and that could be an important lesson that needs to be learned here which is you know the pine it's you know in the um, vernacular of the law of attraction the more you focus on the lack of him being with you the more he's not going to be with you so there is that and that's a struggle here but look in this deck this mythic deck he is with you he's fighting the battle too you see you see that he's fighting the dragon and in fact, he's defending you like the seven of wands, right? He's defending the, uh, the connection. So mythically, I love this. Um, 
even though you think you're alone and your attachment to this whole thing, he is fighting this devil too. He is fighting this, uh, the, the dragon of, um, disbelief, the dragon that is threatening to swallow you up, the dragon that, that people don't believe in your connection, any kind of mindset that isn't in alignment, fighting other people. Because, you know, some divine masculines and divine feminines are married to other people. The marriages may have internally collapsed or they're karmic in nature or whatever. And, you know, you've got parents and siblings and friends. And if that marriage really does collapse, are they going to blame your person and all of those kinds of things? So uh, judgment is the next card. Of course it is. So you're battling judgment, right? You're battling the judgment and a judgment of yourself, too. And the feeling of, like, if I allow this into my life, will it destroy everything? You know, is this something that isn't good for me? Because keeping the status quo um, has been what I've been doing. Um, this is about being aware of the lessons that your current situation have you in. The lessons that the uh, Divine Masculine and the partnership are presenting to you. This is like the awareness of like, oh, now I understand why this is all happening. Now I understand why I'm so connected to this person. And I need to extricate myself from that low vibration connection. You know, maybe it's just about sex or, I mean, not this. I never want to say just sex because sex is awesome. <laughs> and I don't want to diminish it at all. But there is a vibe you know the difference between high, higher vibration and lower vibration, right? And it comes with everything. It comes with food. It comes with money. It comes with just about everything. So, of course, it will come with sex, too. So you want to be in your highest vibration, and that will, in turn, level people up to you, right? That will level people up to you, especially your divine masculine, because he needs you, all right? So next thing, um, we're looking at your divine masculine, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. So this is a very youthful energy about the situation. Um, they're sort of discovering it. They're not really fighting it, which is really cool. This is like these little gifts of love and tangible nature giving being given to you. So they're just, they're, this is a childlike energy around it. And it's really beautiful. And it's very different from this. Right? It's very different from that. Your Divine Masculine is choosing to look at it in a lighthearted way. Um, maybe they're not taking it as seriously as you are. Um, and But this is Narcissus. So we'll start talking about some of the myths here. This is Narcissus. I forget who this guy is. but <laughs> Narcissus is the guy who falls in love with his own, um, his own uh, image and dies only loving himself, right? So these are immature, and this Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles really does sort of, is sort of idealizing that money. So these are things that need to be learned, lessons need to be learned. Maybe he is a bit, maybe he's a bit self-absorbed. Maybe he is really all about money, you know what I mean? Like these are lessons that need to be learned by him for the, uh, for the, attack, uh, for the, um, partnership to move forward. And guess what? He's doing that. See, the two cups are being poured into another, one to another, the balance of things and the alchemical connection. She also has the two, she also has the two of cups. So we're moving from this single, singular version of ace of cups in the Narcissus page of cups card. And now there's two of cups there. This is much more mature. Okay. So I'm not saying he's immature. I'm just saying um, he has a lighthearted approach that may need to be developed, right? So the, the connection right now, four of cups, a little bit of a disconnect. In this, in this deck, um, this always reminds me of um, Cinderella and her wicked stepsisters, like sort of whispering in her, oh, he's not good for you. That can't, be, that can't happen. You need to stay married. That can't happen. Whatever it is that you are clear, they're confusing you about the situation. And yes, here they are confusing you. 
This is confusion. This is about making choices for yourself. So you need to understand that Four of Cups is flattening things out. You're not sure. You're sort of like, is this really for real? Both of you, this is the relationship. There's confusion and there's other people whispering in your ear, especially your ears, right? Especially your ears. Now, the two of wands, that's some clarity. I like that. This is about, see, he's been in the, in the cave with the Hierophant. And in this deck, it's like, it's almost, it's very much like the Hermit. But it has a different feel. Like the, the Hierophant in this deck is the mythic god that people go to for, I forget what it's called. They go to for, um, for knowledge and everything like that. This is outside of knowledge. This is like lack of knowledge. This is lower base kind of thing. You're, you have moved into the place of going for knowledge and understanding. And now you have the capability of making a decision for yourself. You're clearing the way of this confusion and moving toward clarity, moving toward a clearness because you have awakened. You have awakened for sure. And they may be still in the, in the uh, 5D balancing themselves a little bit. So like I said, in the extended reading, we're going to look at you know things to be healed, actions you can take, um, lessons to be learned for you. We're going to look at messages from your divine masculine to you, and we will learn from the universe how this is going to play out. And then also we'll get the universe to chime in in terms of guidance. And of course, special guest star Archangel Michael will chime in with his own guidance. Okay? So we will see you on the other side in the extended link.